Greetings everyone. I'm going to be making another earthquake warning video. It's going to be for the next two days, September 13 and 14. We'll have a quick look at the x-ray data. And as we can see, there's not a lot to report. Things are fairly quiet. And we haven't had a lot of activity since September 9. Earthquake and volcanic activity wise, that is. And even the x-rays have gone down. We'll have a quick look at the um, solar winds. As we can see, solar winds are down to about 300 now, which is which is fairly fairly low level. So, just a, just on this information alone, it seems like we're very very close to some sort of earthquake or volcanic event, just based on this information. And the Soho Silius SEM, we can see the X-ray spike and things starting to come back down. So, it looks like that we're very close to an event. So we just need to have a quick look at the moving imagery. And we're looking at Soho at the moment. And unfortunately we're still getting the 12 hour updated image. Which is not really going to help us much. Um, which is probably what we can expect from NASA's side at the moment. Um, but we do see a feature just above the uh, active region. Which is around about north 35 degrees. And we're going to look at some more images to have a little bit of a closer look. There is another little um, coronal feature that pops open, which you can just barely see. You can just see a little sneak peek of him right here. So we'll have to get some more images and analyze a little bit closely. Now this is my favorite, um, <laughs> my favorite imagery, um, although it's very very difficult to use. Now we can see a very very interesting coronal hole open up fairly sharply and this is approaching the now point which is right here so it looks like that we will be receiving a fairly sizable event around about probably about north 12 degrees I would say and there are a few little cracks and fissures opening up and this is probably the main feature as it's closed now a nice little fissure which has moved across here so this is the region that I'm targeting um, for north 35, 36 degrees. And there's another region here that we need to look at, which is around about north 12 degrees. So it's all northern hemisphere. We'll have a look at some stills. And although the contrast is completely different here, we get to have a little bit of a better look at the coronal features and the deepness of the holes. Although I don't recommend <laughs> using these form of images to predict anything it just gives you a slightly different look and to perhaps analyze slightly differently now the area that we need to look at it doesn't appear to be much uh, is around about here and this is the active region oh that's the active region this is the active region uh, coronal feature just before so we'll have a look at some more images first of all we'll just have a quick read of uh, NOAA and they're advising us that the next two days, September 12 and 13, predominantly quiet and unsettled levels and things going back to quiet on September 14. I'm thinking September 13 and 14 will probably be the most active just based on the solar observations. And there is a slight possibility that we'll, we'll be receiving something September 12, but I will settle on September 13 and 14 with my video. As for planetary alignments on these two days, there is no significant planetary alignment at all. And so I wouldn't be expecting any extra push or any extra forces in play um, based on planetary alignments. So we're ruling out planetary alignments as the instigator for any events for the next few days. Now the first target area that I've matched would be around about north 35, north 36 degrees. And that would be just above Crete and just below Greece. So I'm thinking about southern Greece would be the ideal placement for an event um, in this region. Um, I th looking, at the, looking at the actual coronal hole, it does look to me like it's landlocked. So that sort of like contradicts the prediction of Greece. But Greece does fit the profile and it does look fairly... Um, the, the symmetry is almost um, identical to what we're looking at. Could even be a volcanic eruption of some kind in the 
in these two regions. And the other region, the other region would be Japan. And this fits a little bit better and the coronal feature looks fairly accurate. Now, with the Japan region, it is slightly higher than the predicted area. And, you know, you don't want to see a landlocked event in this region at all. Um, perhaps as low as the um, Honshu region would be as low as we can go. And, you know, it is fairly dangerous area here. And it also puts LA at risk as well. But I'm thinking that the LA region does not fit the features. So I'm thinking of Japan, Honshu, um, perhaps the southern Greece region as being the most matched areas for these two um, coronal holes. And I'm thinking of a 6.2 to 6.5 quake in these regions. There is also another region which is just below and that's with this large coronal feature that we've noticed in the stereo moving imagery and I'm thinking of the area at risk would be the Philippines now San Mar Philippines also Luzon Philippines now this is a fairly dangerous region I'm pretty sure that the volcanic activity around this region advises us that um, perhaps this area may be uh, quietening down but the opening of the coronal hole perhaps could indicate a reawakening of the area. Now the Mariana Islands which is virtually on the same parallel north 11 to north 12 degrees could also be in play and also Guam which is just around the corner here. So I'm thinking of a slightly higher magnitude event in this region based on that coronal hole and I'm thinking of around about 6.8 to 7 um, magnitude event in this region. Um, we hope that um, it's not uh, going to affect any areas um, of land. Um, this area is pretty much sea based around here. And the area that I got is this gigantic island as being the probably the target zone for this. And we'll, we'll have to wait and see. So this is the earthquake warning video for the September 13 and 14 time frame. Thanks for watching.